one of the things where we talk about topography and cutting in swales and making berms and putting foundations in and everything is out in the world, you hear people talk about the idea of cut and fill. And the basic premise here is that you should always balance cut and fill, meaning that if I'm going to take a big bunch of material out of my site, instead of putting it into trucks and trucking it somewhere, I should have figured out where it can go on the site so that I can always balance this out and I don't have to truck very expensive trucks to move a lot of soil around. One of the things you'll be shocked by is how you see those giant dump trucks, this tiny amount of soil in those things, putting sand or gravel or anything like that. It takes 20 of those, 30 of those, 100 of those before you have any real amount of soil or gravel or whatever it is you're moving. It's very, very expensive. The scale of the stuff when you're outside is is just much bigger than it sort of naturally seems. And so having 30 or 100 trucks moving in and out of your site is just very, very expensive. So you're always trying to balance cut and fill. If you're gonna take soil out, you try to find a place on the site that you can use it. Intriguingly, even though this is sort of a bedrock aspect to how you do grading design, it doesn't show up at all on the grading vignette. So now that I've just said it, totally forget it. You don't have to balance cut and fill at all. Nobody cares. It might show up as a question on a multiple choice question, but it's not gonna be part of the grading exam. Blackspectacles.com is the home of online learning for architecture and design. You can go to Blackspectacles.com, kind of get a taste of this online ARE prep curriculum we built with AI Chicago and Mike, covering all seven sections of the exam. And there are free tutorials in every one of those courses. As a part of today's session, you're eligible for coupon codes for your ARE membership. 15% off the monthly membership and 30% off an annual membership all through the end of the month. And we're doing group memberships. So if you want to get one for your firm or you want your firm to buy one for you, you can go to blackspectacles.com slash business or just email me. We're running a promotion again where business memberships are 15% off as well. Our next webinar is going to be different. What we're going to do is we're going to sort of have a no holds barred Q&A session with Mike. It's not specific to an exam. Whatever exam you're working on, you have a question, you've tried to solve a vignette and you don't like your answer, you're unsure about your answer, put it in a PDF and email it to me. And what we'll do is we're just going to take them first come first serve and everyone who submits them will take an hour and Mike will answer them one after the other. So it'll be a cool event because if you actually have a question, you can get a real answer. And if you're just want to see what other people are kind of wrestling with, it'd be a great way to learn from other people's questions and problems and so on. And that's going to be on April 22nd.